Christmas is coming soon. It's so spooky and dark. I'm getting ready to turn the lights on. Um, just got to the shop. This vlog is going to be a two-day vlog because there are a few things that I'm not doing today that I'm going to do tomorrow. And I want that to be a part of the vlog. And one of the things I want to show you is now when I have time on weeks that I have a little bit more time, that's not this week though. Um, I'm going to go live, do pop-ups and every week this cabinet will change and I will just do a pop-up sale and I will sell the things out of this cabinet only. Um, that's going to be on my second channel, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter Live. So you can see just some things that I have that are going to be available in that, my next pop-up that I do. One last week and it was pretty great and it was a lot of fun so i'm gonna try to do that when i can um it won't be every week obviously but when i have a little bit more free time um then i'll then i'll do that so my next sale with michael will be on tuesday at one o'clock again on thrifter junker vintage hunter live so these are some of the things that i've pulled a couple little mini swung vases some fenton some girly candles some Ellie Smith, a couple Ellie Smith things. Some salt and pepper shakers. These little goobers. Um, a little deer planter. A little um, bird art glass bowl. Some, uh, what is this, clams broth. It's kind of good for this time of year, right? Some glasses, look at some teddy bears. And that's full of stuff down there, too. There's a fairy lamp and some turkeys and some pilgrims. All kinds of things. I also <clears throat> am tomorrow going to start pulling things out of Pinky. Pinky is shoved full. So we're going to, I'll probably will set up the camera tomorrow and do some sort of like a little time lapse thing. But Pinky is full. And all of these things will be available right after Halloween. It's all Christmas for this girl. So I have got things just shoved in here. Look at those bookends. Those are nice. I've got a little Tanala nativity set. I've got a Santa bank, some angels, some Santa mugs, all kinds of ephemera. This cool thing. All kinds of ornaments, some Annalise. Uh, so yeah, lots lots of things will be coming. So I've got, actually Pinky has expanded. I've already started laying some things out because I brought out this banquet table. I've got these little goobers, some Jim Shore, a beaded tree, ceramic tree, Santa lights, ephemera, Santa sleighs. Pinky has exploded over here on these shelves up the stage here. Oh, I'm going to have a whatnot sale today too. I have that up and going, but, but the Christmas has exploded over here as well up on this shelf. So I got to pull all of these things over to the Christmas area. Anyway, I know I've got some more books. This books, this book deal is getting out of control. I've got to sit down and organize that. Look at all these freaking turkeys. I had a collection of these and here, here's the whole flock. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least try to bring a couple of them to uh, each sale that I do. I should pull one over if I do that a pop up. But I got a lot of stinking turkeys. Christmas is coming soon, so I'm gonna get ready, get some stuff done today. So this is gonna be like a ch check in a couple times kind of vlog over the next two days. So buckle up, baby. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. All right, guys, I'm just getting ready to go on and have my whatnot sale. I'm doing buyer's choice. I got a lot of fun little small things going on here. So I will check in with you right after my whatnot sale. I did manage to get all of my shipping done from Tuesday sale. So I got here early, got it all done by 11 o'clock. I'm going to to have this whatnot sale that will be done by one o'clock and I'm going to work on that shipping and then maybe I'll have all day tomorrow to go through pinky and hopefully you'll be able to do that with me so that's what I'm going to do today shipping sale 
and then more shipping. That's like a perfect day for me. I love these days. Okay, I just finished with my, well, actually, I just went to the post office. I'm done with my whatnot sale. I went to the post office, and so now I'm getting ready to do some shipping. And I've got, well, I've got some pieces over there, but I have everything in lots because I do buyer's choice. And so when I do my invoicing, I just, you know, pull the bags of whatever, you know, item they won. It doesn't take me very long to get that shipping done, but I had some things that didn't fit in the bags. So uh, they're laying on the floor <laughs> underneath their bags. Some of the die cuts wouldn't fit in their bags. And then those are the giveaways. So um, I still had a lot. Uh, that was a uh, clear the board. But I got through a lot, but I still have a lot more little smalls. I think what I might, I don't, what I'm going to try to do, I'm wanting to have a Disney sale over on Whatnot. So I've been, you know, saving up some of these vintage Disney pieces over here to have some, there's some planters. And then I have some more kind of mixed in over here too. So I'm probably going to maybe, hopefully, maybe by next week or the week after get that um, in there's a lunchbox there too and then just also do you know mix it in with the buyer's choice so I think that's what it, I'm going to do maybe next week maybe the week after I'm not sure yet but I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, and get finished with my shipping for whatnot and see what time is it now it's 1 25 p.m right now so Let's see how fast I can get this shipping done. Okay, so I got a little distracted, but it's now 3.30 and I got all of my whatnot boxes shipped. I think I had 18 orders all together. So all of my shipping is done for the week. Yay! Um, I will be at the end of this video. Make sure that you stay tuned towards the end because I will be inserting pictures that will preview what I'm going to be having in Sunday night sale on 4-Eyed Vintage. So if you're interested in coming to 4-Eyed Vintage, then you can see a preview of what I'm going to be selling there. So I'm going to tidy up a little bit. I've got some trash to take out. Just kind of clean up and sweep up a little bit. Um, and then get ready to go home, make dinner, do some laundry. And then I have everything done. So tomorrow when I come into the shop... I might, I have to go to the post office, so I might run into Dollar Tree as well, and I'll take you with me. We might run into Dollar Tree and see if we can see any Christmas bottle brush trees, maybe. And uh, we might run into the antique mall. I mean, why not? Why we're there? We might, we might want to see real quick. And then we're going to come and start going through Pinky and start getting things laid out on the table to make it easier for me to see to get things ready for Christmas sales. Yay, Christmas! How early do you put up your Christmas tree? Let me know. I'm curious. In the comments, let me know. How early do you put up your Christmas tree? I mean, when I take down that stuff, I'm going to put up a Christmas tree not long after, but before Thanksgiving for sure. And let me just say that I will not be putting up my Christmas tree at home yet, but here at the shop I will be because I'm going to be selling Christmas things. We have to be festive in the season. I won't be putting it up at home yet, but I will be putting it up here at the shop. Well, good morning. It is day two of the vlog. It is Thursday. And um, today, well, dad was supposed to be here because he wanted to thank everybody for sending all of the cards. He still got a couple more cards in the mail when I picked up from the post office yesterday. So he was so, so touched that so many people, I mean, he probably, there were probably 50, 60 cards. So thank you so very much. I'll, maybe he'll pop in a little bit. Sometimes he just doesn't want to, he doesn't want to do the video thing. So hopefully he'll pop on or at some point, maybe I can get him, to say thank you, but he, it was, he, it was, he said it was, it's the best birthday present he's ever gotten. So thank you guys. Really, really, really from the bottom of my heart, you really made him feel really special. So I thank you so much. Okay. Um, I want to do a lot today. I don't have any shipping to do. I mean, I have to go to the post office. I have to check to see what invoices have been paid. Um, and I've got all my whatnot stuff already 
you know, in the car ready to take to the post office. Post office isn't opened up until 8.30 and it's just now 7. One thing that I did do yesterday is I took down all the Halloween. I know Halloween's not over till Monday, but my next live sale will be Tuesday and Halloween will be over. So I'm just preparing. So that's looking like not very nice. I also took down and the back of my whatnot area background I took down all those pumpkins so they're all see they're all everything's all put away right here ready to go up until next year at some point I need to go I want to go to Dollar Tree I might run over to the antique mall and I need to go to Walmart so those are all things that need to get done today so and I have a tree that's already decorated that's in the back but I th think I'm gonna have Mark get down. I have a I have a four foot aluminum tree that I might bring and put in here as my background. So I don't know. I'll I'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as my background goes. So Tuesday it might be pretty plain. May not be. There may not be much out there. But let's make some coffee first thing, and. Let, let's let's get her going. I know I've talked about this before, but the coffee that I love, and I get it on Amazon, is this Crave coffee. I love it so much. Um, I'm all out. They've got a blueberry that I really like, but Crave coffee. Um, this one is, I think I'm having Vermont maple. And then there is caramel. This was a variety pack. Uh, Southern pecan. That one's caramel. There was like a... Yeah, chocolate hazelnut cream. It's very, very, very good. Okay, guys, I have Pinky right behind me. I have all this stuff I'm going to go through. Hopefully, I don't know if I'm going to get through it all today, but we will get through some. But I have this cabinet over here. This cabinet over here, I'm thinking I'm going to take all of the stuff out of it. And we're going to maybe set it up and maybe I can do another pop-up. I did a pop-up over there and like I said in yesterday's video that I'm going to do those every once in a while but I've got several cabinets that are like half empty and I'm thinking why not? I could set this up and have like a little Christmas pop-up sale, you know? It didn't I say I was going to take, I was going to slow down. Well, you know, I get ideas sometimes and we could go with them. Here's a little truck, a little cement truck. That's Christmassy colors. It could be like in a Christmas toy sale. We're just going to talk these things through together. Here's a green bowl dish. I think Indiana glass. That could go in a Christmas sale. This could too. Actually, I used to use this in my own Christmas displays. So that could go. We could do that, right? This is a, an empty box. We don't need that. Liberty Bell, no, I don't think that's very Christmassy. Uh, some of these things are just gonna, they're just gonna get moved to another location. You know, I'm trying out this camera thing again and it's following me, but I have it on a much easier, slower setting. Wow, it's like I have a person filming me. I could use two hands. So I'm just setting, why do we have this empty box? That's gonna go in the trash. We'll throw that away in the trash. But I have, I'm gonna move a little slow so I don't make anybody sick. Although I know I probably will still get those comments because I, I do, I get those comments. And I make people sick. Well, that's nice. Okay, so we're gonna clear this off. And because there's these are just like plain not Christmas items, they're plain not Christmas items, so we are not going to sell these. Did you lose? You lost me. I set those over there. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? It's like Mr. Webb, Mr. Webb's filming me. You know, it's like I'm just moving things from one place to the next. Isn't that what you do when you clean? All right, I'm gonna grab 
I'm gonna grab some uh, pledge so I can pledge that out. I pledged it out. It's been pledged. You are clean. So I have, I'm gonna just put some of the things that I know that I'm probably going to put in a little pop-up. Are we too far away? There. That's a little bit better, right? No fast movements, Misty. Okay. So these are little restaurant wear mugs and they're this nice green color. So I'll put those in here. I've got several of them. This is a Jim Shore snowman, but he's got a broken arm. I don't even remember where I got him from, but I couldn't leave him behind because I thought he was so cute in his little tie. So we'll put him up, up here too. I'll rearrange it a little bit better, but you get what I'm saying. So now we're going to go over here. We'll move the camera. And we're going to start pulling out some things and I will put them either in this cabinet for a pop-up or I'll put them on the banquet table uh, for a sale. Man, I don't even know where to start. Oh my gosh, this chenille, silky chenille wreath. It is in here. I can't show you everything because this will be five million years long. So look at that. That's awesome. I saw this in an antique mall and they were asking like $250 for it. You put a light behind it. I might see if Mark can maybe do that. So I might, I'm going to look for a light kit today when I'm out and we'll see if Mark can put a light back in there. And I may not want to sell it. I don't know. What I'm going to do now is start going through some of these. Oh, I bought these. Listen, and I may jump from thing to thing because that's the way that my brain works. These are new, but they're cute. I got them. I can't even remember where I got them at, but they do make great displays. We got Santa. He is a, he is a bank. You can put your Christmas fun in there. He still has his little lock too. There's no money in him though. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start clearing some of this stuff out. I'll, I'll, you know, leave the camera on and we'll speed it up a little bit and uh then at, we'll we'll do a couple little recaps or if i find something like amazing amazing i'll i'll slow down i'll slow the day i will slow the camera down and we'll go through it together don't message me about any of these things that i'm pulling out of here because all of them will be sold during one of my live sales i'm not selling any of these things via an email. So this is one, one case where don't send me an email and ask me about it because I've been saving, I've been buying this stuff all year to have all my Christmas sales. Ooh, Murphy's indoor lights. Oh my gosh. Look at the, uh, look at the graphics. He's plugging in your lights. Here we've got some Yule glow bubble lights. Eh. Let's see. Great box on there, too. I will test them. Maybe. I'll have to check the cord. You have to make sure that the cord is safe before you go plugging anything in. Oh, Merry Christmas, Santa Claus coloring book. This has a Rushton, well, I don't know if he's a Rushton Santa, but look at that coloring book. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. He's looking like he is like, I'll decorate your tree. Yeah, I will. But it's, I don't think it's, oh yeah, it has been colored in. But, oh my gosh, the, oh my gosh, these animals are looking angry.
Guess who came? It's Dad. Hey, guys. He didn't want to, but he... I'm camera shy. He doesn't like to be on camera. I know no. you guys like him to be on camera, but you wanted to say something? Well, yeah. Uh, well, I actually mentioned to Misty that, you know, I told her, I said, you know, <laughs> she may not remember that, remember this, but I said, uh, you know what one of my favorite gifts were? The cards. And it was a card. Yeah, and she what goes, you said. Well, gee, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, it, it did. Like it, I hurt her feelings, no. but you made mine feel good. Yeah, yeah. So. But anyway, I honestly wanted to tell you I loved reading them. Uh, took me four days, actually, to read them, but I took my time. I read everything. Yeah, he, he wanted to do it in private. He I didn't. wanted to do it up here. So I brought them with me up here. I didn't want, you know, and, uh, and it honestly made me feel awesome yeah and i appreciate it i love you guys for it you don't have to do it but he look for he looks forward to it oh, every well, year. yeah I, I suppose maybe i do you know but it, it does made me feel good i want to thank all of you i mean there was actually some heart warm feeling cards there and like saying thank you for misty and i can say well thank you for you guys oh you know, come here. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for being so supportive. Um, you know, it, it really does mean a lot. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do all of this. Well, it just makes me so, feel good that everything's working out good, and she's got good people around her and, yeah. and good friends. Yeah, yeah. Thank and you, I feel guys. like I do, too. Thank you. Well, I've made progress. Progress. Let me show you. So I took everything out, laid it on this table, and then I got it to where I can see it. Now, I'm still going to keep things out on this table um, just because I want to be able to clearly see everything. And I still have things on the shelf over there. But at least I have things organized to where when I'm pulling things from my live sale, I can just pull these items and, and sell them. But I've got things like with Santas and I got the trees, the snowmen. Uh, this little Holt Howard. Look at him. Look at him. There's his Holt Howard. He hangs. He's, he's a little ornament. She's Holt Howard, too. Um, these are for your candles. Santa's, all the boxed things. I will be selling some more. I've got to clean out my hoard a little bit because I have too many. I, I still have too many. This is Holt Howard. No, this is Christ. Where are you? Your Holt Howard. Your Holt Howard. Your little candle holder. Um, some tins. These are little cupy prints over here. Then I have some like various things in this box. And the pixies. And then I will be doing a pop-up Christmas sale here soon. So I put some things on that. I've got some of these, more of these mercury candlesticks. Aren't these fabulous? Oh my lands. I love those. Look at these little Annalise. I'm a Christmas cat. Squirrel. I'm a Christmas mouse. I'm a Christmas cat. I think you're a Christmas cat. Some ornaments. These are little Mexican pottery. Little nativity scene there. My Santas. Those little dudes. Little pixie guys. Um, some cut die cuts and stuff. So I'm, you know, I'm progress. Progress. So I think what I'm going to do now is actually I have some I have some friend mail I'm going to open. So let's open up that friend mail and what else do I need to do? Oh, you know what? We're going to go to the Dollar Tree. We're going to do that today too after I go to the post office. So let's open up some friend mail. All right. So I got three boxes here. This one is from Sarah Coleman, the traveling button. Did I buy something from Sarah? I don't remember. So, Misty Corn. Next card. Okay, we've got the traveling button. Ooh, what's this? That's a little slide of Mammoth Cave National Park. A little slide. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I know. This, I ordered this stuff from her whatnot sale. Oh, my God. You ready? Uh, 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 there he is. Um, I got a perp. I'm Permy 
cube. Per me cube. I had to have this. Little cupy. Well, it's not really a cupy because he doesn't have any wings, but I got a perm. Ah, I loved him. So it's fine. And then the little squirrel. It's a little Dakin. No, is it Dakin? Dakin. Yes. Or a chipmunk. You know what I thought? He would look cute in a Christmas tree, like on Christmas vacation. That's what I was thinking, at least. And then I got a Lucite foot. I bet this glows. These are things that I got from Sarah's, Sarah and David's whatnot sale. Oh my gosh! So Sarah did. Look, it's Misty Corn. It's corn! Da -da 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 -da. It's got the juice. Okay, no more. Oh my gosh! She's got corns for eyes. <laughs> oh, let's put her up there. Can you? We'll put you up there too, little chippy. I got a perm. They'll sit up there and watch us. Thank you. Thank you for having a sale, Sarah. And David. And Kipper. Hi, Kipper. Okay, so this is from Joyce Pelosi. She lives in New Jersey. It says, do not crush me on this box. So, we, they didn't crush it, Joyce. It got here, and it's not crushed. This says, hi, Misty. I hope these light up your day. I found at a local thrift store and could not leave them from GE Employee Store. Saw different prices on eBay for similar but not exact items. Keep or sell, whatever brings you joy. I thought you were very brave to shave your, not to shave them, to share your mental health struggles. I have my own, who doesn't, right? Not everyone is self-aware enough to admit it. I agree. I think that I've struggled with anxiety and depression since I was a teenager and I've take, taken medicine medication since and if I don't take it I have a dark I go through a dark downward spiral spiral and as long as I keep taking my medicine I'm fine so you gotta you gotta do what's best for you you gotta do what's best for you and I think maybe hopefully it, it, someone might be encouraged to talk to their doctor about the way that they're feeling and and you might as well live the best life that you can instead of being sad or being depressed. So, you know, live your best life. Go to therapy, Just talk to your doctor, do what you can to live your best life. Um, be well, stay weird, Joyce. These were, th there were three sets. One was clear, I kept for myself, tested and worked beautifully. Hopefully same for the ones I sent. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Merry Christmas. Here's your ashtray. Very cute. And someone put their cigarette out on this snowman. But I like that because it shows that it's been used. And I'm weird and I like, I like to know that somebody used that for their Christmas. Oh, here's a couple little cookie cutters. <gasps> mm, I can't wait to make some Christmas cookies. Joyce, you sent some nice bubble wrap too. I will reuse it for sure. Oh, I love these. You know what? I might put these on my background. Um, they are GE string lights. They're co the colored lights. I love colored lights. There's two boxes of them. Joyce, that was so sweet. I might try to incorporate these in my backgrounds, either for whatnot or for um, YouTube. But that was very sweet, Joyce. Thank you. I think I got everything. Yeah. Thank you so very much. Very, very nice. I, I'm going to try to put those to use. I love these. General. G-E light set. Indoor or outdoor. Thanks, Joyce. I love them. And thank you for the kind letter, too. I appreciate that. And then the last box is from Heather. Heather McDonald, and she lives in California. Let's look at the card first. Just a note. Uh, hello, Misty. I started watching you during lockdown and you always brought a smile to my face. Thank you. A few weeks ago, I was gifted this box of vintage nursery rhymes. I shared some of the sets 
on the show and in show and tell group that I planned on keeping. There what which there is I do have a Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter show and tell group on Facebook. So if you like me on Facebook, you'll be I have a link that you'll be able to come over for just just to show your collections and stuff. There was still so much more that were that were incomplete, but I just don't have the heart to throw away or give to Goodwill. I thought instead maybe you could either use them as ephemera, package choppers, or sell, give them away for your sales. I hoped you would think that they were cute as I did. I hope you have a wonderful season of spooks and a productive week. Love, Heather McDonald. She said the box, the back of the box is discolored and has a little bit of mold. I bleached the box, but you are welcome to discard it at your leisure. Oh, fun. Okay, taking off the bubble wrap gently so I can reuse it. Oh, that's a cool box. Isn't that a cool box? And she said, in this box are about 25 plus pages of vintage nurture, nursery rhyme pages separated for teaching kids in the 70s. Not worth very much monetarily, but they're very cute to look at and display. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's flocked nursery that would be so cute framed oh my goodness those are adorable jack be nimble jack be quick oh what a good little boy these are precious these would be great in a nursery oh my gosh look at this one the mother goose that would be so cute framed Look at that little anthropomorphic teapot right there. Oh, she's got a grasshopper on her. Ew. Wow, I love these. Oh, the dish ran away with the spoon. Thank you so, oh my gosh, look, little Jack Horner. Heather, thank you so much. That was very sweet. Oh my word. If someone's doing like a vintage nursery or even a baby shower, I think that these would be lovely. This is Ruthie Newton right here. I've seen just these pages being sold in antique malls. Oh, and there's the back of it. These are sweet. <gasps> At the zoo. The elephant. Oh, there's another. At the zoo with the deer on it. These are lovely. Thank you, Heather. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I probably, they're a little too big to use as package choppers, but I don't know. I could, I could do something with, with these. I might maybe even do them as a giveaway. So maybe I will do them as a giveaway. I can se separate them into several lots to do as giveaway. So I might do that. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Joyce. And I got my corn girl. Um, all my stuff from Sarah and David, thank you very much. That was very, very kind of you all. Just got done making my reel for Tuesday's sale on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please do. Um, I It's so just Thirtra Junker Vintage Hunter on Instagram, and I do a preview of everything that I'm going to be selling during Tuesday's sale. So uh, lots of Ellie Smith. I'm doing like kind of like a Thanksgiving-y sale. I got all these turkeys in here and owls so i'm going to finish up with that these couple of little turkeys here which by the way let me show you a little something that a lot of people do with these these i have these old forks here but what they'll do is they'll put their serving um their serving pieces in these little planters or just even forks cocktail forks or even just regular silverware um, for their thanksgiving dinner so i thought that was a really clever idea Some, it's not my idea so i got it from somebody else but really cute or you can also use them as a planter but they're going to be available tuesday one o'clock eastern over on thrifter junker vintage hunter live well hello again hello again it's the third day of this vlog there's been a lot going on i had i forgot to do i didn't go to Dollar Tree yesterday. I had to come home. I had some other things that I had to take care of. But Mark and I are going into Dollar Tree and we're going to see if there is any Christmas, specifically bottle brush trees. So, so we're going to run in there and see if there's any bottle brush trees and Christmas at Dollar Tree. So if there is, I will check in with you when we are done. 
So we're back home now. Dollar Tree was a bust. We didn't find anything. They had some bottle brush trees, but they were little bitty ones. So we went into Walmart. And I was able to find, isn't this so cute? Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. And it was $7.98. This I'm gonna use in my background. I love it. It was $15. Um, and these, um, they, you can find the light kits for your blow molds. I went ahead and got a couple of those. And then they had these smaller bottle brush trees, two pack for $2.28 and then some smaller ones for $2.28. But I got a couple, the pink and the green and blue. And then I'm going to use these big ones in my background. So stay tuned for the Christmas background uh, for my sales. I'm going to be getting that ready here within the next week or so. So we didn't find anything at Dollar Tree, but I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. This is a long vlog. They usually always are, but thank you guys so much again for sending dad the cards. I really, really do appreciate it. He really, really was touched. So you guys are just lovely. Thank you so very much. And thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. I really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Remember, don't forget to follow me on my second channel, Thrift junker vintage hunter live and um, it's the first link that you'll see down in the description below if you're not subscribed i'd love to have you come over and follow me along on all of my adventures and my live sales thank you guys again so much and get uh, hit the thumbs up on your way out and i'll see you in the next one bye guys Red Hammer, Red Hammer.